again, grab that attention and can help push you forward and drive traffic and get the results that you're after. And you know, for a long time, creating uh, top quality graphics, you know, you needed to go out and hire a designer or spend uh, hundreds of dollars and, and have very specific things in mind. That's no longer the case. Thanks to some great online tools, today you can get apps for your iPhone or iPad or maybe your Android device. You can use many online sites and one we're going to take a look at today is called Canva. Now I'm on Canva right now and this is actually a free site that you can sign up with, you can use. I haven't spent a thing with this site and I've created numerous cutting edge, really fantastic looking graphics and I want to show you just how I've done this in this tutorial of Canva. Now just yesterday I posted to my blog about a great WordPress service that I use called Manage WP and I was able to create this snazzy looking graphic in about three or four minutes. Now when it comes to using Canva you can use this service to create all kinds of graphics, pictures, social uh, images and whatnot. You can create blog headers, maybe you can want to create a uh, cover uh, image for Facebook and you can see we've already got a preloaded template ready to go and so on. So how do you use Canva? Well it's really really pretty easy. Let me show you oftentimes what I do. I might start with this uh, presentation which is like a template and here we can see the sizes 1024 by 768 and all I need to do is click on this and I will get a blank canvas or Canva if you like. And you can see here my design is untitled. I can share it straight to my Twitter account or I can share to Facebook. I can also download and to download I would use the link and publish button. So how does it work? Well first of all you'll see we've got all kinds of great uh, layouts already done. Different types of fonts and images and that works real real well or you can simply select a background. In this case I'm going to click background and you'll see I've got some uh, predefined backgrounds like if I click this then I will get that background in my design just as I've shown you here. Now you'll notice that these say free. If we continue to scroll down you'll see that some of the backgrounds are paid and that's how Canva makes money. I think it's an ingenious model. It lets everybody get in, play around, create great looking graphics and if you want something specific let's say you want to create a header for your blog and you want a rocket ship in it well you can search uh, hundreds and thousands thousands actually millions of graphics so let's search for a rocket and sure enough look at all the rockets we have so let's just say we want something like this we can uh, move it around we can uh, resize as we as we would want and need and that makes the process really really simple so like I said here we are in the different backgrounds I'm gonna also select uploads now you have the ability to upload your own pictures and images and that's what I've done I've got some pictures here that I've taken uh, knowing that you know I would do this kinda of thing I would create social graphics um, for my website for Facebook uh, headers, banners, all kinds of different things. And let's say I wanted to take this image here. Let's uh, let's actually start off again. I want to delete that. There we go. So we're blank. And as you saw, all I needed to do to delete was hover over and we get some options. So here I'm going to select this image that I've uploaded. And you can see there it is. Uh, the image is in our palette. Now we need to work with the size and whatnot. And, and what's really nice is we can crop we can move the image around, we can get really what we want. And I want this kind of sun that I'm kind of casting, it kind of looks like I'm some crazy wizard. I'm gonna go ahead and hit crop. And when I do that, it might take a minute. Now, this service is in beta and sometimes the site, you know, it, it's, it's a little slow and there's probably thousands and thousands of users using it. And because of that, it can take a, a little bit of time and whatnot. So I'm going to kind of crop this as I as I see fit and I kind of want the sun. There we go. That's kind of what I'm looking for. 
Let's get a little bit of the mountains. That's great. So I've cropped the section that I want to use. And now when I'm done, all I have to do is hit the check mark. I have cropped and I'm good to go. Now again, if I don't like what I've done, I can always hit delete. I can start over. I can select a predefined background like I showed you, but right now I'm in with this uh, image. So again, think about when you're out with your friends, when you're out with your family, when you're off hiking. Maybe take a picture of clouds or a blue sky and you can just throw some text over the top and create a great social uh, image that you can share. So the next thing we want to do is we're going to kind of just pull and we're going to get this picture in the the background here, right? So that's pretty good. And there's our, our image right there. So you can see uh, we really have a, a lot of power with this tool. Now, one of the things I really like too is uh, I can take multiple different images and I can move those around, right? And I can size them as I want. Maybe I put this here or I put it over here and this isn't the greatest example, but it makes it really easy to use multiple images layer them on top of each other. You can crop, you can resize, and that's pretty darn awesome. Um, let's go ahead and go back to the home page. I'm going to click Canva, and I want to show you, you can actually see some of the different images. This is what I created yesterday, right? And specifically, you know, think about, you know, maybe pointing up towards that blue sky if you want to capture yourself in the image. You can do that, and then you can use something like this to uh, post to your blog to grab attention and whatnot. Now, I kind of use silly uh, humor in my marketing. That doesn't mean you need to do that. And if, in fact, you don't have to even put yourself in the graphic if you don't want to. Remember, you can choose a lot of different background colors. Maybe you just want a green background, right? Um, let's st start in here again. And it's really, really quite easy. Let's start one more time. Let me show you how to add text. So we're going to start off with a background. We're going to uh, select this right here. And to add text, you just click, well, text. And I want to add a title. So I'm going to say this is an awesome example. Right? Now I'm going to click out of there. I'm going to select again. And I'm going to kind of drag this in the way I want. And then after I've done that, I can move this around anywhere I want. And if I click on it again, you'll see we have a tremendous amount of awesome fonts all ready to go. Like maybe you're going to do something that's like double agent, secret kind of military thing. You can uh, select this black ops font. Or maybe you want something uh, more like this diplomatic uh, awesome example. Uh, you can resize, you can color. I think this would look good with a white color the font, right? Uh, it's a little too big, so let's reduce the font to maybe 32. Still a bit big. And there's an example of the site seem to be a little slow. But pretty darn good for free. And just really powerful tool that you can play around with. You can do so many different things with this. And again, remember, you can come in. You can select your own custom size. Let's say you want to make a, a header for your site. And you need, you need the header to be 900 pixels by 180. You can just plug those in. You can hit Design. And now you've got a clean palette ready to roll. Here's the size you're going to want. And maybe you're going to start with a, a kind of a background, right? So you're going to come in and you're looking for a specific kind of uh, background for your header. This is kind of cool. Maybe something like this, right? Check out this image. This is probably, it's a dollar. And talk about a great graphic. You know, it's got a highway perfectly centered blue sky maybe you know um, you, you drop in some text here like you know it's not about the destination but rather the journey and this is what's possible with Canva hey Brian G Johnson from marketing easy street I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful I hope you found this information 
to be of value. And if so, I'd really appreciate it if you're on my blog, if you'd hit the like or share button right below this video, I'll have some sharing buttons that you can use that will spread the word and help get this awesome information out to the people. Hey, Brian G. Johnson, have an awesome day. Talk to you soon.